Have you ever opened up a Power BI report and wondered, is it safe to delete this column? Or where's this measure used? Can I, can I get rid of it? Is it used anywhere? Well, Imke Feldman has built everybody a free Power BI cleaner tool and it is awesome. I'll show you how it works. Let's go. So I've set up a little test report to test Imka's tool. And um, let me show you what I've got in here. I've added a few measures in this calculations table. And one of them is called measure not used at all. And I've not used that measure at all in my report. Um, I've added another measure used in conditional formatting. And that is used for the green bars in my chart here. And I've also added a couple of unused columns. So in my sales data, I have added a random column not used. And I've also added another column to use in a filter. And it's up here in the filter panel. So I wonder if Imka's tool will pick up all these things. Spoiler, it does. Okay, right, check it out. So um, I've set up a little... Um, Oh, here's, here's Imka's page, okay? And the BI accountant, if you want a little shortcut, url.pbi.guide slash I-M-K-E, Imka. url.pbi.guide slash Imka. Okay, I've set up a little shortened URL to take you to this page. Now, Imka does a great job of explaining how to install everything and how to run this. But I thought I'd like to do a video just to show you in action because, you know, a picture tells a thousand words. Um, to install these things, scroll right down the bottom after reading all the instructions. OK, please read the instructions a couple of times. Um, there's two options, a Power BI desktop version and an Excel version with macros in it. So you can use either. You can use both. I'll show you the um, benefit of the Excel one. It actually can write some code that you can use in Tableau Editor, which is awesome. Right, so I've downloaded these two. Let me just bring them up. Um, I've already opened the Excel file in the interest of time. Let me open up the PBI, um, uh, PBIT version. You can use either of these. I'm going to show you both very quickly. Okay. So when it opens up, it's going to ask you for two things, the file path and the port number. Okay. The port number can be a bit awkward if you haven't got DAX Studio installed or you haven't got Tableau Editor installed. There's a couple of other ways of finding it. Go to Imka's um, post. She's put a nice link to an explanation about other ways of finding the port. So the port number and the report file. So the report file is just a file path. So this is my um, Power BI report. OK, this is this thing. This is called Power BI Cleaner Demo. This is this one. So it, the file that's open, basically. So right click, copy the path. If you're on Windows 10, you might have to click on the file and go up to the toolbar across the top and find the copy path button. OK, so copy as path. And I'm going to paste that into the report file here. And then port number. How do you find that? Well, like I say, have a look at Imka's post. But if you've got um, DAX Studio or Tableau Editor, you can find it this way. I'll go for the DAX Studio option. Um, DAX Studio is free. Tableau Editor 2 is free. So you can use it on those. Here's the, the, the port down here. And you can just click this little copy sign. OK, that's copied. And I can close down DAX Studio now. And I'll go to the Power BI Cleaner. OK, and paste. Um, make sure you get rid of the text. That caught me out earlier on. So just the number. OK, load. Again, Imka calls out that a whole bunch of screens are going to pop up. And there's a certain one, this, this one. You've got to ignore the privacy levels. OK, okay because I've run this once, the warning bo boxes aren't popping up. So I'll bring that up on Imka's, uh, Imka's blog in a second. But it just generates all this table for you. Awesome. OK. And you can just see the tables, budget data, sales data. And then within those, the columns, OK, calculations. 
and it tells you that it's a combination of items you need to keep. There's some you keep, some you delete, some you keep, some you delete. This is the calculations one. You can even slice by just the ones to delete. So let's have a go, delete. Open up the measures. Measure not used at all can be deleted. It's not used. Brilliant. Um, sales data, open up the columns. Random column, not used. I can delete it. Great. And then it's saying there's a few in my calendar table that I don't use as well, which is right. I haven't used any of these in that particular report, so I might want to delete them. You've also got the keep option, you know, and it made sure, you know, let, let me show you the keep option because one a couple of these are pretty nice. Go to keep measures and check this out. If I go to actual sales and open this up, it shows you where it's being work, used and stuff. So not only is it saying it's been used in other DAX expressions because it's being referenced, it's a base measure being referenced in other measures. It also tells you which visuals on which pages. Awesome. That is so good. OK. And if you just want to have a look at the DAX expressions, there we go. You know, you could export this to CSV or something like that if you wanted to. Yeah, export the data. But here's a list of your measures. This is so good. OK, really cool. Right, let's show you the Excel version as well. Um, so the Excel version, you do need to enable macros. Uh, it needs the same report file. Oh, there we go, local host. Um, so let me just get the report file. So copy, right click, copy path. Go here, right click, paste values. We'll just click in there. OK, let me show you a different way of getting the port number. If you've got a uh, tabular editor installed, let me just go in here. And again, Imka calls all these things out in her blog. I'm just copying what she's told me. OK, she's done a great job here. So tabular editor. And it should open up. OK, here we go. So here's tabular editor. I can now um, go over here to the uh, little open icon. OK, that little icon in the top corner, go for the um, Power BI Cleaner. And there it is, 58291. All right, so it is there, 58291. That's the other way of finding it. So if I go to the Excel file and type in 58291, macros need to be enabled. Click Refresh and you'll have a similar sort of thing. You'll have some warnings. You need to disable the privacy settings for this file. And if it doesn't pop up with an issue, I'll show you that in a second. Okay. Because I've run this a couple of times already, just before doing the recording, it's remembered um, my settings and things, so I'm not having to put them in. And look, here we go. We're done. OK, we can have a look at the items to keep, items to delete, the same sort of thing. OK, and before I finish off with a really cool bit about how because it actually built us some code that we can put into Tabular Editor to delete unused measures or hide unused columns. This is great. Check this out. Um, in the blog up here, you may get a debug warning when you're doing this in Excel. If you do, just go to Get Data, Query Options, and change the priv privacy settings to Ignore. Okay. Sorry, let me zoom in there so that's a bit easier to read. OK, so that might come up as an issue. And then the other one that I didn't show because it's just a case of clicking the button about 15 times is this one, native database query. That was the word I was trying to find earlier. Native database query. Um, you have to click that a whole bunch of times, maybe 15 times. But honestly, it's worth it. OK, it's just like 15 clicks. Um, brilliant. OK, if Imco was charging for it, maybe, maybe we might have something to moan about. I don't think so, but maybe. But this is free. It's insane. OK, so here, look, check this out. Measures to delete. You can click this button and it'll actually generate this code for you. So if this was empty and you go create code, that could be a whole list of measures. You could just drop it in to Tabular Editor, click a button and it'll wipe the code out, it'll wipe the measures out. I'll demo it with columns, right, because there's more of them. So again, this, this was empty when you open up the template. Create and copy code. This generates the 
tabular editor code for us. We copy that. I go into my tabular editor. I we click on this little icon, new C sharp script. Paste it in there. And I want to sh show you this happening, right? So I'm going to open up the actual report and I bring back up tabular editor. Okay, and I'm going to move this over here a little bit. So what this is going to do is hide all of these unused columns. Right, so I come up here, I run the script. Awesome, nothing's happened. But then I go and apply the changes via Control S or clicking on the expression editor and coming back here. Save. And it should hide all the items. Awesome, they're not deleted, they're hidden. If I want to show them, I can right click and say view hidden. But it's hidden them all. That is brilliant. Imka, thank you. Look, everyone, I hope you think this is a good tool. I think you should tell people about it. Give Imka some credit for this. It's awesome. Um, I'll put links in the uh, descriptions to Imka's blog. And yeah, let me know what you think. Is this going to be useful for you? Did you know about this? Have you tried it out? Um, yeah, let me know and I'll catch you later.